Hello, and welcome to this Visual Basic 6.0 video tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make a basic program that will open other programs. We will also add password protection to it. So, here is the program. As you see I just type in anything random. Then nothing will happen. But when I type in my chosen password then something will be visible. Then if I click Notepad you see it opens up. The same will happen if I click on Calculator or Mozilla Firefox. So now, let's get started. Open up Visual Basic and then Gut File, New Project. Then you will be met by the screen. Double click at standard exe. Here is the form we are going to work with. First we want to change some appearance. Click once at the form, then go down to the properties window and select border style. Change that to fixed tool window. Now we want to add some components to our form. Add one text box and two command buttons. Make it look nice, of course. Hot, cool vibes, that's our own things. Hey, yeah. Hot, cool vibes, that's our own things. Hey, yeah. Hot, cool vibes, that's our own things. Hey, yeah. Hot, cool vibes, that's our own things. Hey, yeah. DJ can be taking over. Now, as you're done with that, go click at the text box and clear the text of it. As well, we need to set a password char for the text box. Use whatever char you want. I will use the star. Now we want to test the program. Click on debug and test it. Now we want to change the caption of all of the command buttons. Change it to whatever you want. But I will set the caption to command 1, to notepad. Command 2, to calculator. And command 3, to Mozilla Firefox. This three application slash programs will be great examples. Also remember to change the visibility of those command buttons to false, like in the video. Now, let's start coding. To open the coding window, double click at the text box. We want to start to open a if statement. So type in if text one dot text equals test then. Then you press enter two times and type in n if. Then go up between those lines. Then type in command one dot visible equals true. Then mark everything from the dot to the true and copy that. Cause now you just need to type in command 2 paste and command 3 paste like in the video. Now, as you're done with that, double click on the first command button like in the video. To open a program, you have to use the shell statement. So type in shell and then the program path. Shell notepad.exe. Then do the same with the second command button. Just this time you type shell calc.exe in the Mozilla Firefox command button. You have to find out the path of the program. So I am going to get my shortcut for it and then right click and then click on properties. When it is open, copy the target for the shortcut. Then you just type and shell, paste. Now, test out the cool program. Click on the debug button or press F5 on your keyboard. Hope this tutorial has been interesting and I hope that you have learned something from it. Thanks for watching and bye.
Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground.